C'est très triste, malheureusement. It's very sad, unfortunately, what happened for the family. We think, how could this have happened? A 13-year-old Montreal teen died at this public pool after being found unconscious in the early hours of July 17th. Quebec seeing 39 drownings so far this year alone. With National Drowning Prevention Week underway, experts warn it's important to be aware of the do's and don'ts when around pools and bodies of water. More people on vacation means more people swimming in lakes, going out boating, um, refreshing themselves in streams, going to swimming pools. So there is a, an increased, uh, let's say, opportunity for accidents to happen. In 2020, with COVID keeping people home and a warmer summer, 95 drownings were reported in Quebec compared to the 59 in 2019. And this year, the province on track for a similar situation. I can see the impact about Learn to Swim program because a lot of the youth one, uh, they didn't follow any swim lessons since the last 15 months and we cannot, uh, uh, we didn't deliver the Swim to Survive program for the grade 3 and 4. On pratique avec eux à la piscine. We practice with them at the pool indoors and outdoors but with COVID it was difficult. They lost one year of practice so we are more alert. I'm urging all parents out there to have a conversation with your kids about water safety, about never swimming alone, about making sure that they don't go into any water that they are not comfortable with. Some saying all drownings are preventable and the best people to help prevent them, the adults in a child's life. Focus on that because drowning with a youth one is silent and could be happen between uh, to 15 to 30 seconds. I'm always uh, next to him. Uh, yeah, I pay attention what he's doing because I know that one second you left your kid alone can be dangerous. But it isn't just children to look out for, it's adults too, with the average drowning occurring in open water involving a male of around 39 years old. 27-year-old Walid El Abid died when he drowned after falling off a boat in the St. Lawrence River near Verdun on July 10th. His body found days later, he wasn't wearing a life jacket. Doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter your aquatics or boating activities, you need to be with others person please wear your personal flotation device all the time only those two big messages we will see our numbers going down in montreal alicia rubertucci city news